what is the candidacy for a stem cell implant so who is a better candidate with respect to autism spectrum disorder which child we can recommend uh, you know considering stem cell in, uh, implantation for see uh, there are no clear cut recommendations for autism because again as we discussed it is still under clinical trial phase and there is no robust evidence uh, supporting stem cell therapy in autism so obviously because there is no evidence properly it is not given as a treatment there are okay. no clear cut guidelines for autism okay so with regards to autism there is no clear cut uh, you know recommendations as in who is a better candidate for this uh, yeah, treatment this age group or this age group or this kind of deficits or this kind of symptoms would be benefited more by uh this kind of treatment there are no clear guidelines because clear there is guidelines. no okay yeah. so are there any guidelines as in who will not benefit from this approach uh, regards with autism so any contraindications or any you know so above this age uh, it's not worth it worth spending so much or not worth going through a procedure like this or something like that so as far as research has been done it has been done on uh, children under 10 only Uh, so there is no research at all to comment for adults with autism or adolescents with autism so there is no research to comment on this there actually there are no guidelines see guidelines come when we are actively promoting it as a treatment okay for example uh, if someone gets a heart attack what is the guideline for the person to get angiogram uh, that uh, creatinine has to be this much or uh, blood pressure has to be this much there are guidelines because we are promoting it as a part of treatment plan correct counselors are not included as a professional treatment plan yet so there are no clear cut guidelines for autism uh, for uh, stem cell therapy in autism can you tell me any uh, case discussions which you have heard with uh, any uh, colleagues would have told you so and so patient had undergone this stem cell and so and so results i saw it personally something like that if you have any personal stories to share you can share about what happened pre or post op and uh, how the child is doing right now the thing is um, i haven't heard any success stories i discussed with a child psychiatrist who said he has not recommended it to anyone till now and uh, he was trained in one of the uh, best universities of india and especially okay. then there have been so many consumer complaints uh, there have been so many uh, reviews uh, in this consumer complaints forum actually i went through the site for consumer complaints uh, okay that uh, indian government's website there have been so many complaints i have spoken to few parents who have mixed reviews see uh, when you spend that kind of money over there you will see what you want to see yes Yes, you, you will be in a denial. Yeah, yeah you will be exactly. in a denial that you had to spend almost like ten lakhs on a futile uh, procedure. You want True. to see that? See, see, see. Last to the last year, this time he was not looking at us. Doing now this. At, yeah, last year he was speaking ten words only. Now he's speaking to few words. That could be natural improvement, or this could be even to to therapy. see once you go there and you spend 10000 10 lakh rupees in one week you imagine that along with that then your stay and then your food expenses and all that what parents uh, are thinking is it is going to put a full stop to all the misery what they are going on till now but that is not going to happen and they will think okay fine now it is done when we go home there will be changes so suddenly boy will start talking to us suddenly there will be an eruption of language or a volcanic uh, come out of uh, expressions so, or something like that yeah. nothing is going to happen that way even after stem cell therapy kid should have uh, uh, all the therapies going on continuously speech occupation therapy ot everything everything should go on and uh, i have spoken to two parents recently okay uh, one of her one one parent is herself she is a doctor and uh, she took her child for the same stem cell therapy when the girl was one and a half year Okay. and uh, she she got it done then what happened uh, she started seeing improvements kid is now talking uh, she is 3 uh, year old uh, i guess now so one and a half year after stem cell therapy she is definitely talking but she is not talking yet in sentences might be she will improve a bit more after yeah. next year or next year uh, okay. what mother says is i don't know whether this is because of therapy or this is because of natural improvement or uh, this uh, stem cell therapy yes. but i don't regret taking her there because okay. i want to believe that this is because of that even she is not sure 
uh, why the development is happening because she never stopped the therapies she never uh, stopped uh, giving her uh, home stimulations and uh, one more thing is uh, she got two revised surgeries to the kid at one oh. and a half year and two and a half year around that two revised surgeries uh, like two stem cell uh, therapies along with hyperbaric oxygen therapy and she's doing really well she's uh, she just got enrolled into a regular school with a special yes. needs uh, support okay. so yes there are success stories and i want to talk about another uh, parent okay where uh, mother got it done at around 4 years of age like the kid was 4 year old okay. after 1 year there are absolutely no changes zero changes okay zero changes they say zero changes i don't know i have not spoken to them uh, properly but they say no changes because of that and we actually spent so much money and this mother told me i would have uh, given that money to some therapist they would have worked on my kid better this is what she told me so the second child uh... out of curiosity was he diagnosed early was he undergoing treatment to be frank early? yes yes uh, okay. i don't know whether they are taking it at the right person or something with so okay. many quacks floating around we don't know what actually is happening yes, she yes. claims that, that she is taking him to therapy topic. correct yeah okay. we should talk about that also <laughs> we'll yes, do in yes. fact i was telling you the other day that uh, uh, someone was the advice therapy and this these people went to physiotherapy yeah. and were doing exercises and taking money i was surprised In i way. asked yeah i asked see uh, see here uh, therapy was advised are you taking and they are like yeah ma'am we are taking we are taking thrice a week and then is there any improvement and they are like no there is no improvement what is the therapist doing and they are doing exercises and uh, i saw the degree uh, what they are actually the physiotherapists they are actually physiotherapists so these people are looting the parents they are playing with emotions to be frank giving false hopes see any kind of any kind of new promising therapy be it uh, um homeopathic complete cure for autism or ayurvedic retreats also ayurvedic retreats for autism see business happens on desperation we are desperate because the medical field on one side is telling that you have to live with this you have to accept this you have to accommodate this child in your life and you have to live with this on the other hand things are quacks who are promising magical exceptional results i want to really come out with this name doctor you go on facebook it is huge i think if you go to facebook and type autism first thing will come is a mm-hmm. so that that huge they are doing marketing i spoke with them and they told me you pay me 6 lakhs i will cure your kid okay <laughs> and this is for one year it seems see i, I as a general not just for autism if there is a treatment if there is some kind of a single treatment which offers a cure for every possible uh, thing under umbrella don't trust it doesn't it. happen Yes. it doesn't happen see autism even with the same diagnosis autistic kids are different everyone has different issues uh, exactly. some people exactly. have hyperactivity some kids don't have hyperactivity some people have auditory okay. sensory some people have tactile sensory issues kids are different if they are different and therapist has to each therapist assesses the child individually and they have to tailor the therapy for the child exactly so not, awesome, not customized to therapy yeah anything anything any cancer or uh, ADHD, schizophrenia, anything. If there is a special treatment, you promise that you come to me and you will be cured. Don't trust. That is run, 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 run in the any, opposite direction. Any, any professional person will say that first you come, ma. We have to assess. We have to assess. We have to see what we can do. We'll try our best. They won't say that you you come and hundred percent you will be all right. No professional will say that. They say first we have to assess. We have to see where the problem lies. We have to see what we can do about the problem. We will put hundred percent effort, but yes. we cannot give guarantee for output. This is what Because a professional educated person will say. Actually, I'll tell you what happens with uh, this kind of promising treatments. Uh, I'll give you an example. So okay. when my baby was very uh, young, uh, she was like three months or uh, one month old. We went for vaccination. So the doctor gave us two options: that uh, this whole cellular vaccine is cheap, but it will be painful and it will cause fever. This yes cellular vaccine is expensive, but it, there will be no pain and no fever. And choose. And 
and obviously we are we are parents we don't want our child to suffer with fever or pain so even it was like 2 or 3000 extra we were willing to pay and we were not even earning that much at that time that is how parents uh, think about their children uh, see on one hand we psychiatrists therapists what we are telling is autism is a lifelong condition the child will need support throughout the life uh they will improve but they need a different kind of support when they become adults this is a different condition you have to be prepared this way so on one hand we are telling that it is for life you accept this on the other hand this uh, these facebook pages these uh, stem cell therapy institutions they are they have separate facebook pages and websites only advertising for autism and they are promising unicorns and rainbows and it's like do come you come and get this and there will be a tremendous uh, improvement for your child uh and uh, no parent would like to miss this opportunity because what they are seeing ahead is a lifelong turmoil of therapy is uh, supporting tantrum sensory issues and all and on the other hand they are showing that see just come and get this once and uh, your life will be set your child is free of autism that kind of advertisement they are uh, a uh, giving so obviously everyone wants to try that because that uh, we will be scared that if we don't try maybe we are depriving of uh, our child of something exceptional something that great that would yes. have worked and we are depriving our child of that so of course even if it is expensive see uh, it is around 10 lakhs okay whatever they advertise as 6 lakhs or whatever it is it will be around 10 lakhs and sometimes i have even uh, read reviews that they might ask you for a follow up in the next year and they might offer it for cheap saying that okay uh, probably this might not have worked uh, because of some issue so we'll give a discount on the next session of treatment uh, for not for autism i have read for other cases why uh, no, uh, sadhvi i you want to add over here a little i'm sorry for interrupting sure. uh, there are reviewed cases even here for autism they have got it done twice and thrice the, the same procedure, procedure twice the whole procedure twice thrice and they will say this time ah they will say this time we will give you hyperbaric oxygen therapy along with uh, stem cell therapy it will work even more better so you come you come back and there are parents who are going back that is what is very uh, yeah parents are just, hopeful uh, just one question so the again the uh, bone marrow will be done again it will yes. be Yes, yes. The whole procedure, what I have done, what I have explained, everything will be so redone. Like two operations are repeated. Yeah, yeah. Every year, repeated. same, or, same right, operations. Yeah. See, it is not financially problematic. It is very traumatic for the child also. Definitely, they don't know what's happening. Yeah, and when they grow up, they start realizing that maybe my parents did not like me the way that I was. That is why they were trying very hard. to change it see the child does not have a life threatening condition it's not like if the operation is not then the child is going to die it's not like it is a 100% proven treatment also but in spite of that parents are just hoping again their hopes and going again and again which will make the child wonder that in a condition like autism, a autism what happens is uh, the child is cognitively doing okay in many cases yeah. so the child yeah. can understand the child can develop language the child will eventually start speaking and everything so uh, as you said it will not take really longer for the child to realize all these facts that is 100% true i'm seeing it in my son only sadvi has been seeing gagan for past one one and a half year i guess and she herself has been seeing so many improvements and it's like she's only seeing him through any video call or any video which i post online or only that much and the the uh, whatever the improvements are evident very evident and my son is only four and a half now correct so there is definitely chance it is not like uh, the child is doomed for life because he is under this umbrella no it is not like that only thing is uh, they think differently they act different that's all yes they eat different might be you are just you are just for him what is there it's okay uh, so my next question would be after the surgery or the procedure is done the stem cell is being implanted what does it or how does it work neurologically in the brain cells and in the nervous system what exactly happens so this question the answer will be like we should first understand how the brain works 
see when the baby is born they will be a certain number of uh, neuro neuron cells they are called neurons in the brain okay the number of neurons them increasing will be there only till 2 years of age so that is the biggest brain development stage of any human being so at birth from birth till uh, the baby is 2 year old even okay. in the mother's womb also the neurons would have already formed but the growth will start continuing uh, it will continue till the baby is 2 years old okay. so that 2 years are very crucial for anybody's life for brain growth after 2 years after second birthday that growth will stop so the number of neurons whichever are there at 2 years of age they will be that number only till the uh, person uh, expires okay there won't okay. be any more uh, new neurons new things right. will not come see when something happens to our hand like you cut yourself here the new cells of the skin will form and then the defect will be covered be anything yeah. it will be healed but this will not happen with the brain whatever is there the structural brain will never change after 2 years of age okay. only thing is the size of the neuron grows because the head gets bigger so it will also grow along with that okay. only the size grows and it will not grow in number Multiply number okay okay number so when you understand this you will understand how the stem cell work okay when you so, get a stem cell uh, in yeah. simple terms if there are uh, if the neuron number is more the brain development is better right So yeah to be frank yeah yeah in okay. the beginning years of life there okay. will be a fixed number of neurons for any human being like Correct. it will not be more or not be less okay But in the range the, yeah there is in a, the range yeah, yeah. In, there is a normal range. range so if the uh, if the it will be there number is more the brain development is better and it gets stopped yes. at 2 years of age Two years of age. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. so here what we are uh, doing here is uh, stem cell therapy will be given to the child. What we think, okay, now the defective neurons will be replaced by new neurons. No, that is not going to happen. That is the biggest bogus thing. What happening? What is actually happening over here? That is what they are uh, telling everybody. See, there is some small defect over there in the brain. So we are giving stem cell. So stem cell will give new neurons. No, that will not happen. only thing what happens with stem cells is uh, there can be any functional difficulty where which i have explained at the starting of the video between the synapses the functioning and the communication that yeah. might get better okay okay that's all okay that too i am not saying it will get better i am saying it might, it might get better yeah okay. mm, it might get better and okay. that also it will be better when the child is younger so Correct. you cannot expect the same result by giving stem cell therapy to the child at one year age to the child at five years age brain already has uh, came to one kind of uh, good start and good maturity so it will not be there whatever the stem cell therapy you are giving it will only be an adjuvant therapy to what all what all the things we are doing to the kid like okay. uh, any therapies for example so yes. in autism Uh, to be frank autism is a lifelong condition it will not change yes what we have to do is though the kid is having autism even though uh, we have to teach him how to live a fruitful life overcoming the challenges or adjusting his surroundings with the challenges you have yes. some sound sensitivity wear some headphones some noise cancellation headphones and go out you have to teach yes. them that how to control themselves that's it nothing more 